Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a 1969 Camaro. This is a true X22 car, so it's a real deal SS. It's powered by a 350 small block, and it's made it to a four-speed transmission. What I'm gonna do in this video is we're gonna open up the hood, I'll show you the engine bay, and then we'll go ahead and walk around it. We'll jump inside and we'll go for a test drive, and then you can make your decision on if this is the car for you. This is, uh, I would say, a six out of 10 in regards to the quality of the build, but it's a very nice driver quality vehicle. What we have here is a 350 small block. It has power brakes along with uh, electronic ignition and hooker headers. It feels very good, I would say around 300 horsepower. We've done about $1,500 in upgrades just to get it uh, to be safe for the road. We've done an aluminum radiator, uh, the correct one, not an eBay cheapo one. Um, we've done some wiring for the ignition, and then we also service the brakes in regards to the lines and some of the pads. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let you look at that tag right there. That's where you see the X22. That signifies it as an original big block 12 bolt rear car. It still does retain the 12 bolt rear and you're definitely gonna feel it out because it has posi traction. We'll show you in the video. When we look at the front fascia, it's extremely nice. It has hideaway headlights that are hand operated. The paint, uh, the, the stripes are painted on. It looks very nice. Let's go down the passenger side first. So all the body lines actually look great. Uh, shines extremely nice. I call this a 10 footer. All of your Camaro emblems look good. You've got your rally wheels, front and rear. Tires have about 60% tread. When I open up this door, take a look at the inside. It's nice. Uh, you've got yourself two bucket seats, the four speed from the Muncie, and then you've got a rally gauge pack. Uh, the tachometer is the only thing that does not work in this gauge pack. Um, rear seats, let me open this up. They look great. Screwdriver is not included, that's for me. Go ahead and close that and go to the rear. Rear quarter looks great. Nice and solid. Uh, there's a little bit of an imperfection right here. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. It looks like they didn't use the correct prepping when they painted it. Uh, another, a little bit more right here too. But all the chrome looks great. Your rally stripes are flow through to the rear. And then let me go ahead and open up the trunk. The gaps are nice as well. Your tail lights look great. Your chrome looks great. All the bumper edges look great. Inside the trunk, you got a nice mat. It's solid. Uh, they've got a rally wing put on here. Let me go ahead and close that. Let's go to this side. Quarter feels good here. They've used a little bit of filler. A uh, little bit of imperfection up here as well. But overall, this is like a driver quality car. You pull up, if you are looking for something to enjoy, this is definitely it. Seats look great. There's a small tear right here in the seat. You got your really nice wood grain steering wheel. And then you can see your Hurst shifter on this side. You've got your uh, speedometer and your tachometer and then your clock as well. What do you say we go for a ride? Okay, so we're inside the Camaro right now. I wanna go over the gauges. It's got a four gauge pod. You've got your battery, your temperature, your fuel gauge, which we're almost out of fuel, it does work, and your oil pressure. So right now we're at operating temperature and it's at around uh, about 40 PSI. And then when you give it gas, it goes up. So the motor is healthy. Clutch disengage is great. Right now our emergency brake is on. Your rear view mirror is an invisible one, but we do have a new one coming in the mail. You've got yourself a wood grain steering wheel and the lights operate as they should. You do have a heating system and then a uh, ashtray and a glove box. So let's go ahead and go for a ride. Her shifter feels good. Let's pull our emergency brake off. I would rate it to have around 300 horsepower. Nice and smooth. We're in second right now. No pop out. Third gear. Fourth, we're going around 45 miles per hour. I'd say we're at about 1500 RPMs. On a downshift. Secondary is open as they should in the carburetor. Once we get on Ravenswood Road, we'll uh, be a little bit more spirited and see how it, how it feels. It does have posi traction, so we'll test that out once we get uh, cleared from this big truck here. All right, 
there's some bumps up here. We're gonna go over them so you can see if there's any noise from the suspension. No funny sounds. Let's go. Chirped in a second. Feels good. I'd say zero to 60 in like seven or eight seconds. Feels impressive. Downshifts feel good. Yeah, if you're looking for a fun car to go to cruise ins with or drive around on the weekends, this is definitely it. We're doing this car at no reserve, so you could start, it starts off at 99 cents and you have the ability to win this bad boy. 954-363-2261 for any questions you may have.